Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like four days since I filmed. It'll probably be five by the time this is actually up. So yeah, it's been a really long time. I've been like super, super busy. Um, a lot of changes, things happening. Not bad things, good things, but just a lot going on. Um, I did switch churches, which was a huge thing. And it was completely unexpected. Um, it wasn't because I was upset or anything like that. Uh, it was just something that I felt like God was telling me to do. And I've just been really getting myself involved in my new church. And so yeah, that's been a big transition. And, you know, just a lot of different things going on. Just little things, big things, just things. Uh, it just seems like I've been really busy. Um, I did start to film a vlog on Mother's Day. We took uh, the babies to an amusement park. But the vlog ended up just, it ended up being a mess because my child started having a meltdown that day. So it just ended up, I just wasn't vlogging. I did get a few good clips. I may make a video of it and just stick it on there like an extra video. Uh, but it wasn't enough to, I don't know. I don't know. I may stick it on there. We'll see. But anyway, today I am filming because if I don't, my cousin Deidre is going to hunt me down and skin me alive because... She's having to rewatch old videos, she said. But I was actually getting ready to film when she messaged me, so good timing. Okay, so today I'm doing my top lip products. Um, lip products are definitely one of my favorite things. Uh, it's between lip products, uh, cheek products like uh, blush and highlight, not so much bronzer, blush, highlight, lips, and then eyeshadow palettes are like my big, big thing. I, I love them. Uh, I tried to do 10 and couldn't, nar couldn't narrow it down to that many, so I ended up going with 15. I know that's still a lot, but I was lucky to get down to that many, and I still had to put some back. Like, I got all my favorite things out, and it was just, like, so hard to, like, narrow anything down. I probably look crazy. My makeup's been on for several hours. I actually put my makeup on. I did... Uh, bleach my hair again today so it is getting closer to platinum blonde basically it pretty much is uh it's still a little bit more of a little bit of a golden tone right here more than like platinum and i think there's still a couple little bits of pink in it but overall getting there i'm really liking the way it's looking and yeah it's definitely fun for the summer i've never been blonde um you all see me when I have a little bit of blonde on the ends, like when I have kind of like an ombre, but I've never just been blonde, and I'm really loving it. I'm excited, but yeah, that's one thing I did today. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. I am going to do swatches on my hands. I don't, should I do lip swatches? I may do some lip swatches. I probably will. Might as well, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Disclaimer, you are going to see some reds, a lot of reds, because that's just my favorite lipstick to wear. I know a lot of times when people do, like, favorite lip products, there's, like, a lot of nudes and neutrals. And I know people like that because, you know, it's more wearable or whatever. So, I'm sorry if my choices aren't the most wearable, but it's just what I like. Okay, I do have some wearable shades. Just not as many as I do bold shades. Okay, let me just kind of organize everything. Okay, let's start with liquid lipsticks. Okay, so I have five of those. The first one, uh, let's just start with this. This is the Giordana's uh, Sweet Cream Matte in Cherry Cobbler. You all know I love this. Uh, you saw when I did my swat. Look how dirty my hands look. I have fake tanner on and uh, I took a shower today and thought that I scrubbed it off better than that, but apparently not. Okay, so y'all have seen me swatch this. Um, it's nothing new. If you watched my video, I swatched all of them, but this one was my favorite. Let me take off what I've got on. Uh, this is the trouble with red lipstick. It's so hard to get off without looking like you have joker mouth. But I shall try. Okay, that's as good as it's getting. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on just to show you all. This is not going to be a good swatch, probably. So there it is. This will dry down matte. This is just a very bright, 
true red. I love it. Definitely one of my favorites. It's so vibrant and I love that it is a liquid lipstick and that it dries down matte because with the baby and stuff I do like to be able to kiss on him and play with him throughout the day without having to worry about getting red lipstick all over everything. But yeah, that's the first one and I love it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off before it dries down so that I don't have a very hard time. I'm sorry if I'm getting some weird lighting. It's like sunset and the sun's like right here and it's like going down so the lighting will probably change some throughout this video. Okay, so the next one is also a red liquid lipstick and this actually my cousin Deidre got this for me and this is Missy and Fierce and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit and I should have left my other swatch on there. I think I'll re-swatch it. Here's what that one looks like. I'm already a mess. Why am I already a mess? Ugh, I'm only on shade two. Okay, so here's that first one. And then here's this one. You can see this one's a lot more dark. More of like a blood red. And the other one's more of a bright, vibrant red. So that's why I included both. Okay, so there's that one. Absolutely love this one as well. And this dries down matte also, so it won't transfer. And there's the swatch. Okay, wiping it off before it dries. I should have started with a lot of shades, but with all the colors I've got here, it really doesn't matter. Y'all have seen me be a mess anyway, and I hope you love me anyway. If not, you probably wouldn't be here. Okay, so next. Uh, I have three uh, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. They are my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. I know a lot of people think they're really drying. They don't bother me, and I just love Kat Von D. Uh, this is Lolita. Everyone has seen this. Everyone loves this. This was my first liquid lipstick ever. It actually came in a Christmas kit. See it right there. Um, and I, that was before I even really knew about liquid lipsticks. But... I got this probably uh, I want to say it's probably been five years I know that probably seems really gross but I never did wear it until here recently because I don't know I just didn't really wasn't crazy about the color back then and I was all about lip gloss so it's really starting to get empty now where I've been wearing it a lot lately and there it is. I think my lips being a little bit red is making this look a little bit more red tongue because I'm like red around my mouth. In person, like in real, like if I was using it on my newly makeup face and it have red marks all over me, it would be more of like a brown tone, brownish purpley tone. But basically, that's what it looks like. And I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to get this red lipstick off. I've had red lipstick on all day, even before I started doing this video, so they're just kind of stained. Okay, I'm going to powder again because I look ridiculous. Please don't judge me. My first, like, mean comment that I ever got on YouTube was a girl telling me that I was an idiot and didn't know how to swatch lipsticks because I started with dark colors first. But I didn't care then and I don't care now. <laughs> okay, so anyway, next is uh, Melancholia, also by Kat Von D, another liquid lipstick. And this is just a really like pale but vibrant pink. I love this shade. Isn't that just so pretty? I love it. It's like a pale Barbie pink. It's so pretty for spring and summer. I love, 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 love this color. Even when I do like nude shades, most of the time I like them to still have like something special about them, like a bright, nudie pink. Like this is brighter than your just everyday average nude. And I really, really like it. And yeah, okay, so that's Melancholia. Lips are really dry too. I should have exfoliated first. Oh well. That's what happens when you don't plan things. 
Okay, so next is my newest lip purchase, and this is something I've been wanting for a really long time. Oh, I didn't swatch Melancholia on my hand. I will. Hold on. There it is. Right there. Look how pretty. Okay. Anyway, also Kat Von D liquid lipstick. They had a deal at Sephora that if you bought any uh, Kat Von D lip product that you got a free like sample size of the uh, Trooper eyeliner, which to be honest, I am actually not crazy about. I know everyone loves that and I was really excited to try it. And actually, I don't know if it's just where it was like a small sample size, but I wasn't like highly impressed with it. It wasn't very like saturated, but I feel like maybe it's just the, the size that they gave me or something because I've heard a lot of good things about that. So I was kind of like really surprised that I didn't love it. Anyway, so this is one that I had been, dating, been debating for a while and I always put it on when I would go into Sephora. Well, not always, but I've done it several times. But it's kind of a crazy color. But I finally just decided to get it and I'm so glad I did. And this is Echo and it is a beautiful dark royal blue. And I know this is not the most wearable thing on planet Earth, but it's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on. Okay, so there it is, and I know you all is probably wondering what my obsession is with blue lipstick. I'm aware that blue lipstick is not the most flattering shade. I'm aware that any given day when I do my makeup, I could put on a different color and it would probably look better than blue, but I just like blue. I think it's fun. I think it's spunky. I think it's sassy, and I like it. Okay, so that's all my liquid lipsticks. But I'm going to leave this on because the next thing is kind of like, it dries down like a liquid lipstick. Uh, this is one of the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects, I guess it's like a liquid lipstick, I'm not really sure, uh, lip top coat. But it does like dry down like a liquid lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade Regulate and this is kind of like a purpley, silvery glitter. Um, actually, I may have got, I think I got this after I got this. I got this and then I got this. So these are my two newest products and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on top of this. So it gives you the shine without the gloss. Like this will dry down and be transfer proof but it'll still look shiny. I just think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh I need to wear this combo. I haven't wore Maybe I did wear this already. I think I did actually. So pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. That's just so sassy, and I love it. Oh my goodness. Highly recommend these if you like unique lip products. You like shiny without having to have glossy. You like glitter. Uh, yeah, so that is Regulate by Urban Decay. I don't want to take this off. It's so pretty. Oh, I have one more liquid lipstick. I totally missed this one. Okay, so this is another Giordana Sweet Cream, and this is in the shade Cream Brulee, and I would swatchy swatchy to right here. It's just a really pretty, it's like a step down from um, Lolita and maybe just a little bit warmer, but it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like my natural lip color almost. Well, they say my lips fit better. So that's basically that one. This is probably my most, it is my most wearable shade that I have in my favorite. So if I'm going for just like an everyday nude, this is usually the one I'll reach for. So yeah, it's just a really pretty nude liquid lipstick. Okay, so first, let's just go with Kat Von D. We've talked about her a lot. This is the Kat Von D Studded Lipstick in Magic. Absolutely love this. It's just another really pretty, like, rosy nude. It's matte, but it has glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, maybe you won't love this. It's not a lot of glitter, but it does have some. Uh, that's it on the end there. So, I don't know. I have several nudes here and here. See? I'm not too crazy. It goes on so smooth and soft. It's not really, even though it's matte, it's not like a really real drying formula. 
and it's not transfer proof at all. It's just like a very uh, comfortable matte lipstick with just a little bit of glitter. So yeah, I love it and it smells like cupcakes. Okay, so next we have an LA Colors lipstick. This has been a favorite for years. And this is Luscious Wine, and I said LA Colors already. These are like a dollar. But it's just a cream lipstick, and it's in a red wine color. It's very, very creamy and moisturizing. And there it is. It's gorgeous. I haven't worn this in a really long time. But it's still, I'm, I need to wear this because it's really pretty. It's just a favorite. I love it. And it's always got a little bit of a shine to it. It's always really creamy. Here it is right here. And you can see it's a little bit more of like a purple tone than this red up here. This is that first one I put on it. Look how bright that is. It's so pretty. My goodness. But anyway, Luscious Wine. I have several. Am I ever going to make it through a video without dropping something? Probably not. Anyway, so I've had several of these. I have two, I think, right now because you never know when they're done going to discontinue something and I just love it like it's one of those things I don't want to not have in my collection one day so it's so pretty okay next I have a wet n wild lipstick in dollhouse pink and basically it is just a you've seen me wear this it is a very bright vibrant pink like you ain't gonna miss it like if Barbie was a lipstick this is what she would look like so nothing too crazy. It's always going to have some slip and shine to it. Uh, you will have to reapply because it's just a regular lipstick, which I don't mind. I get tired of liquid lipstick sometimes if my lips get really dry. And sometimes it's refreshing just to put on a regular everyday lipstick. So yeah, here's Dollhouse Pink. I love it. You need it in your life if you like bright colors. I have some more lipsticks, but I'm actually going to move on to something else and come back to those because they're some of my, like, signature favorites, so I'm going to save them for last. Okay, next we have a lip cream, and this is the NYX Cosmic Metals. Y'all know I love these, and my favorite one is Out of This World. Basically, it looks like mermaid lips. Like, again, I know it's not the most flattering lip color, but I like it. I could kind of like that. That's so pretty. It literally looks like mermaid lips. And it's so creamy and soft. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so pretty. I know, I'm crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it. I mean, really, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's. I, I wish I could wear it as an eyeshadow without it creasing and making a big mess because I totally would. And it would be gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe that off and move on. Okay, so next we just have a lip gloss. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is actually almost empty, but it's in meringue. It's my favorite. I usually don't wear it by itself. Sometimes I do, but I'm gonna put it on by itself anyway. And there it is. It's just kind of a bright pink gloss. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's kind of actually almost exactly if uh, Melancholia here was a lip gloss, that's what it would be. So this looks like Melancholia, only glossy. These are actually very pigmented to be glosses. Okay, so now I have three MAC lipsticks. Now, I'm not saying MAC is like the best lipstick out there. I don't know. I haven't used all the lipsticks out there. But they're just kind of nostalgic for me. That's like when I really first started getting, in, getting into makeup. Uh, I got my first MAC lipstick, which is actually heroin, the really dark purple. Uh, that's not one of my favorites, but I still do have it. But my signature lip is from MAC. I'll save that one for last. But let's just start with Candy Yum Yum. This was the second second or third one I ever got and it is it's pink it is bright bright pink look at that worst swatch ever it's gorgeous though okay I think this is a matte formula not transfer proof just matte there's what that looks like I love it I think it's gorgeous and fun it's just fun I love it it's so pretty so that is candy yum yum by MAC next is these are like my two favorite 
lip products ever like in the universe my two like if I had to pick two this would probably be the two that I would pick like when I was getting ready for this video I, these are the two that instantly came to mind the first one is Morange also by MAC and it is just a bright orange lipstick it's gorgeous I've never put this lipstick on and thought it looked bad like ever like even lipsticks I like sometimes they just don't look good with your makeup that day this one always looks good I've never been let down by Morange. I, it's actually the only orange lipstick I have, which is weird because I love orange lipstick. I need to comment down below what some good ones are. I really want a go-go by Kat Von D. But anyway, let me swatch first. It's actually like broken and it makes me sad. I have to be careful. There it is. It's gorgeous on my nose. This is a amplified, so it's just really creamy and really bright. Like, look at that. Isn't it pretty? I mean, it's gorgeous. Like, no one, no one could ever say anything bad about Morange because it is gorgeous. I love it. Love it. Love it. Hands down in my top two. Okay. And I've gone on about that. Okay, so now for my all-time favorite lipstick. I have two tubes of this and both of them are almost empty because for some reason I interchange them like I don't know why like I think I had one in my purse and one at home and so I was using both I don't know anyway even though I have two, two tubes of lipstick of this when I went to the MAC counter the other day and needed to refresh my lipstick and I wanted to use one of theirs instead of trying something new I put on this one that I've had on that I've had for years that I've used a hundred times, but yeah, it was the one I reached for because I love it. If they had, if I had to choose one lipstick to wear for the rest of my life, this would be it. Right here. I'll give you a second to think of what it is because I've mentioned it a lot. You think? Okay. So, my favorite lipstick of all time is Max Ruby Woo. It is a gorgeous blue based red. It's matte. It feels like you're applying a crayon to your face because it is so like dry that I don't even care. I love it. It is amazing. Hands down, my favorite lipstick of all time. Um, it was actually Bunny Graveyard Girl that got me started on this because it was her signature red for the longest time and I loved it on her. So I had to get it and I fell in love. Anyway, I'm going to put it on my mouth now. So there it is. I love it. I love the way it looks. I've always loved this lipstick. I will always love this lipstick. It's my favorite of all time. Okay, so I'm sorry this video was kind of long and I feel like I talked a lot. It's probably really repetitive and I'm sorry if I got on your nerves. But, you know, there's only so much you can stay, stay. I can't talk. Ever. Ever. It never fails. Every video I say something stupid and then I tell you that I can't talk. Like you don't already know. Oh, I need to swatch this, by the way, on my wrist. So, there it is. Basically, it's in between this one and this one. And then you have Ruby Woo. Like, it's a little bit darker than this one, but lighter than that one. <sighs> it's gorgeous. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. I know I probably got on your nerves, but like I was going to say before I fumbled and sounded like an idiot, there's only so much you can say about lipstick, but it is what it is. And I love all these shades. I hope that this was entertaining or that maybe it was helpful in some way. I mean, if you're on the hunt for a blue or green lipstick, you never know. Maybe you're crazy like me and like those colors. But anyway, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to my friend Autumn's house to have dinner. And we're going to hang out. And basically, that's it. But I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.